Picture a tiny vessel, a daring little adventurer. This is NASA's Voyager 1, launched in 1977. NASA had a bold vision for this craft, to reach the stars or at least the outer planets. Humanity's curiosity encased in a small metal box. Ready to embark on an epic journey into the unknown, its mission was monumental. They called it the Grand Tour to visit the giants of our solar system, Jupiter, the colossal king of planets, and Saturn with its stunning icy rings. Voyager 1 was more than a sightseer. It was a scientist, a messenger, an ambassador, sent to unveil secrets hidden in swirling clouds and to gaze upon moons never seen up close before. Voyager 1 wasn't alone in its quest. It had a twin, Voyager 2, launched just weeks earlier. Together they formed a dynamic duo of exploration. First stop, Jupiter, a majestic swirling giant. Voyager 1 arrived in 1979. What a sight, the great red spot, a storm bigger than Earth, raging for centuries, a crimson eye in the clouds. It discovered new rings around Jupiter, thin and faint, and saw its moons in stunning detail. Io, a volcanic world, spewing sulfur into space. Europa, covered in ice, perhaps hiding an ocean. Next, the jewel of the solar system, Saturn. Voyager 1 flew past in 1980. Its cameras gazed upon those magnificent rings. Not solid, but made of countless icy particles, each one a tiny moon dancing in orbit. It studied Titan, Saturn's largest moon, a mysterious world with a thick orange atmosphere. How did Voyager 1 travel so far, so fast? It used a clever trick gravity assists. Imagine a cosmic game of billiards. The probe would fly close to a planet. The planet's gravity would grab it and swing it. Leaving Saturn behind, Voyager 1 journeyed onward into the colder, darker regions of space. The sun became a distant, bright star, its warmth and light fading with every mile. The probe was heading towards a boundary, a place called the Heliopause. This is where the sun's influence truly ends, a frontier humanity had never crossed before. What is this heliosphere, you ask? Think of it as the sun's giant magnetic bubble, the solar wind, a stream of particles from the sun. It blows this bubble out into space, protecting us from harsh interstellar radiation. Voyager 1 was about to leave this cosmic cocoon to venture into the raw, unfiltered galaxy. Then, in August 2012, it happened. History was made. Voyager 1 sent back data unlike any before. It had crossed the heliopause. Decades have passed since its launch, a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. It's now 2025, a year that once seemed so far in the future. Voyager 1 is incredibly far away, billions of miles from its home planet, Earth. Light itself takes many hours to travel that distance, a journey through the vast emptiness of space. Yet this amazing spacecraft still talks to us, sending back invaluable data. Its signals are faint, weaker than a watch battery, but still detectable. But our giant radio antennas on Earth listen intently, capturing every whisper. Picking up its whispers from the void, a testament to our technological prowess. A lifeline connecting us to our distant pioneer, bridging the vast expanse. But recently something strange began to happen, puzzling scientists and engineers alike. Around late 2024, its communications became garbled, a worrying sign. The data stream, usually so orderly, turned to nonsense, causing great concern. It was like hearing a familiar voice suddenly speak gibberish, unsettling and mysterious. Scientists at NASA were baffled and concerned, trying to make sense of the anomaly. What was happening to our intrepid Voyager 1? The questions loomed large. Had its long journey finally taken its toll? Was it the end of an era? Or was something else at play, out there in the dark? The unknown beckoned. At first, engineers suspected a problem with the spacecraft, a technical glitch perhaps. Perhaps an aging computer system was failing, a relic of the 1970s. After all, its technology is from the 1970s, ancient by today's standards. They ran diagnostics, sent commands, hoping to restore normalcy. Section 5, The Golden Record. A message in a cosmic bottle. Voyager 1 carries more than just scientific instruments. It carries a special passenger, the Golden Record, a phonograph record made of gold-plated copper, protected by an aluminum cover. It's a message in a cosmic bottle, flung into the vast ocean of interstellar space, a greeting to any extraterrestrial civilization that might one day find our wandering probe. What treasures does this record hold? It contains sounds and images of Earth, a portrait of our planet and its inhabitants, 
There are 115 images showing life and culture, sounds of wind, rain and animals, music from different cultures and eras, Bach, Beethoven, Chuck Berry, greetings in 55 human languages, hello from the children of planet Earth. This beautiful idea came from a team led by Carl Sagan, a renowned astronomer and science communicator. He understood the power of such a gesture. The record is a symbol of hope. Section six, built to last. The ingenious engineering of Voyager 1. How can a machine built in the 1970s still operate after all these years? Still send us valuable data from beyond the solar system from the vast unknown? It's a marvel of human engineering, a true testament to our ingenuity. Designed meticulously to withstand the harshness of space, extreme cold, intense radiation, and the relentless test of time, Voyager 1 is a testament to careful planning and foresight and the brilliance and dedication of its creators. It was built to last, and it truly has, defying expectations. Its power doesn't come from solar panels, unlike many other spacecraft. The sun is too far, too faint out there to be of any use. Instead, Voyager 1 uses nuclear power to keep its systems running. Three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, or RTGs, power the spacecraft. These devices use the heat from decaying plutonium to generate energy, to generate a steady and reliable supply of electricity. They are like long-lasting nuclear batteries, providing power for decades, slowly fading but still working, ensuring Voyager's mission continues. Voyager 1 is packed with scientific instruments, each with a purpose. Cameras that showed us Jupiter and Saturn up close, revealing their secrets. Though those cameras were turned off long ago to save power, their legacy remains. But other instruments are still active, sending back data from the edge of interstellar space. Section seven, the great unknown, what is this mysterious force? So what is this unknown force affecting Voyager 1? This question has puzzled scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Scientists are working hard to figure it out. They are meticulously analyzing every bit of data sent back by the spacecraft. It's a detective story played out across light years. Each piece of information is a clue in this vast cosmic puzzle. The clues are in the garbled data. These anomalies might hold the key to understanding the mysterious force and in our understanding of physics. The laws of physics as we know them are being put to the test. Many theories are being explored. Each theory brings us a step closer to the truth. Some are mundane, others more exotic, from simple mechanical issues to complex cosmic phenomena, but all are driven by the scientific method. Rigorous testing and validation are crucial. One possibility is an unexpected feature of interstellar space. Space is full of surprises. Perhaps Voyager 1 has entered a dense cloud. This could be a region of space we haven't encountered before, a patch of gas or dust thicker than anticipated. Such regions can have significant effects on spacecraft. This material could be dragging on the spacecraft. Even a small amount of resistance can alter its course, slightly changing its speed or orientation. These changes, though minor, are critical to understand, or perhaps it's interfering with its radio signals. Communication anomalies can provide important clues, like static on an old radio, but on a cosmic scale. This interference can distort the data we receive. This is a plausible, if less dramatic, explanation, yet it is one of many possibilities. Another idea involves forces we don't fully understand yet. The universe is full of mysteries waiting to be uncovered. Could there be a powerful localized magnetic field? Such fields can have profound effects on spacecraft or a gravitational anomaly in this region of space. Gravitational forces can bend the path of light and objects. If so, Voyager 1 could be making a new discovery. Each new finding expands our understanding of the cosmos, revealing a hidden aspect of the universe. These discoveries remind us of the vast unknowns that lie ahead. That's the beauty of exploration. The journey itself is as important as the destination. Section 8, a new chapter for humanity, the meaning of the encounter. This mystery surrounding Voyager 1 is more than just a puzzle, it's a reminder of our place in the cosmos. We are explorers driven by an insatiable curiosity. Voyager 1 is an extension of that human spirit, our tiny emissary in an unimaginably vast universe, its journey, its discoveries, its current enigma. They all speak to our deepest desire to understand, to know what lies beyond the horizon. Every time we encounter something unexpected in space, whether it's a new type of star, a strange signal, or an anomaly like Voyager 1's current situation. It pushes the boundaries of our knowledge. 
It forces us to question our assumptions, to develop new theories, new technologies. Science thrives on puzzles, on the unknown. This is how we grow, how we learn. The quest to understand this unknown force is a global one. Scientists from different countries, different backgrounds are sharing data, debating ideas.